People say they found their heart dog or their soul dog. I think Noah is definitely my soul dog. <laughs> my name is Vivian, and this is Noah and Lincoln's story for GeoBeats. I had no intention of getting a dog. <coughs> we were in the military. We just didn't have the option to that. <laughs> my husband ended up going, and for whatever reason, he noticed the one little puppy to the side. My husband asked the breeder, why is he still there? And the breeder said that he was the runt and that he was basically going to discard him because he wasn't going to bring him any money. My husband felt bad and he called me and he told me, hey, um, we're going to have a puppy. <laughs> My reaction was confused. But then when you saw his little face, you're like, OK, you're here to stay with us forever. Noah is a very chill guy. I always thought it was like an older gentleman inside of him. When you need a sense of calm, he kind of knows when to give you that. Also, he judges you. So when you're having that extra snack, you know you're not supposed to. <laughs> he comes around the corner and just gives you like the, hey, what are you doing, eyes? <laughs> so he's our old wise guy. When my husband was out of the military in 2017, we wanted to find a brother for Noah. <laughs> But we ran into Lincoln's profile and the family that was trying to get rid of him said his personality was just too wild and they couldn't contain him. We brought him home and he's been with us since 2017. When he first met Noah, <laughs> Noah just sniffed him the one time and then walked away. They live much like roommates, but he really didn't want anything to do <laughs> with Lincoln. He doesn't care for dogs. He prefers humans. Maybe he really thinks he's not a dog. <laughs> My husband and I were separated for three years because of our job. He was stationed in South Carolina and I was stationed in New Jersey. And so the guy that was with me through thick and thin was Noah. So him and I bonded a lot during that time frame. In the military, I injured my knee, my back. And those days that were really rough where I couldn't even get out of bed, he was the one there. And he actually kept me going. <laughs> one is the calm and the other one is the storm. Lincoln's personality is just wild. He's just over the top. <laughs> He just keeps me laughing when I need it because he's such a nut. I'm trying to go to the bathroom by myself. When you go to the restroom, Noah and Lincoln follow you in there. <laughs> it seems like they feel like it's a sense of their duty to protect you, <laughs> even in the restroom. What do you want? <laughs> he's 90 pounds, but he acts like he's 15 pounds. But when he thrashes his body around, I'm always the one to keep him in line. This is what he did to his third bed. With my husband, there's just no filter. He gets as wild as he wants with him. My husband was going through a period where he didn't know what to do as far as retirement. When you're working for 20 years, Lincoln kept him on his toes. He was able to find joy in Lincoln with his personality of being excited. The stereotype behind the pit bull breed or the bully breed really took me back because I just couldn't fathom that. My mom always saw pit bulls as what every, most of the people do. <laughs> when I told her we had <laughs> Noah came to us, she didn't want anything to do with him. All he did was run up to her, shake his tail, and just greet her with love and his caring eyes. After that, and my mom started to come over more and more. I'm so grateful that he's in my life. I hope that he felt the love that I was able to give him during the time that he was on this earth.